a variety recipe. So whenever I say the word chocolate, so we think of something totally sweet. So that is the variety we are going to bring into our recipe today. So have you ever tried adding this spices into chocolate and have you tried making them? If not, you are in the right place. So today we are going to make a variety recipe that is chili chocolate. So the name itself gives us the idea how the recipe tastes. It will be little sweet, little hot and will give, a, give out a very incredible taste. So now let's see how this is going to be. Now let's move on to, to the making of our chili chocolate. Today we are going to make a fusion recipe that is our chili chocolates. So the name itself is a variety one and we require only really two ingredients. That is a chili flakes. We need to take uh, three or four chili flakes, uh, red chilies and we need to grind them roughly not into a fine powder. So this, then we will obtain our chili flakes. So we need chili flakes and the next ingredient is our white chocolate. Here I have taken a bar of white chocolate. Now uh, we need to melt our white chocolate so we are not going to melt it directly. The process for melting our chocolate is double boiling. So now let's move on to the process of double boiling of our white chocolate. So now uh, we are going to double boil our white chocolate for that here I have taken a vessel and into this we have to add water and then we have to boil it. So let's start boiling. Now here we can see that this has reached to the boiling stage. Now into this let's place a bowl. So this bowl shouldn't touch the water. So in that way we have to place a bowl so, the, so that the bowl and the water are not in contact. If a glass bowl is not available you can use a steel bowl. And now then we'll into this we'll be adding our uh, bar of white chocolate and let's melt it. Now here we have finished melting our white chocolate. So the reason why we are not directly boiling it, uh, I mean melting it in a pan is that there are chances of uh, our chocolate to be burnt uh, or and the taste of, of our chocolate also will be changed. So that is the reason we will be doing this process of double boiling. So we shouldn't always directly melt a chocolate. We should do this process of double boiling and here we have melted a chocolate well and uh, while mixing uh, please make sure that there aren't any lumps now let's switch off the flame and let's keep it aside to cool down a bit not too much a little bit to cool down and then let's add the next ingredient now into this let's add our chili flakes we'll be adding only half of what we have taken and the rest of the half will be used for topping uh, for garnishing on the top of our chocolate so before adding this white chocolate uh, onto into our molds first we will be sprinkling some chili flakes at first and then uh, we'll be adding this mix of white chocolate and chili flakes so that when after it's um, when our ch chili chocolate is ready so when you take it out you can see this um, top layer garnished with chili flakes so that is the reason first we will be garnishing it with uh, chili flakes so and here now we have mixed everything well and now on into our mold we will be adding our chili flakes first so let's sprinkle some chili flakes into our mouths first and then 
let's add our melted white chocolate mixture of melted white chocolate and chili flakes into the into the mold So here we have finished sprinkling our chili flakes first and then now on top of this let's add our mixture of melted white chocolate and chili flakes. So we, uh, we shouldn't add too much, let's add little so that we maintain the shape. to make all this uh, chocolate even so let's give a small tap on the surface where we have placed this let's give a small tap so that it becomes even now we have added our chili chocolate into the mouth and we will be refrigerating it for two minutes so you can see the red thing over here this is our chili so let's refrigerate it for two minutes and then we can see how our chili chocolate is. Now let's refrigerate it. So now here our chili chocolate is ready and they look really nice with the uh, topping of our red chili flakes and when we taste this actually i'll taste and i'll tell you i cannot resist this because when the chocolate is near us we cannot resist it without tasting it mm, i can feel both the flavors actually first when you bite this you will be getting to know the sweet flavor and when you come to the end there is a sudden blast of this red chili flakes and you get to know the spiciness and no two flavors are on high that is there is not too much sweetness or not it is not too spicy both are balanced and it's a variety twist i can tell you and i never tasted something like this before because most of us may not have because um, this recipe is a variety fusion the chocolate we had earlier is a sweeter one so we don't add any spices or anything. So this one is a variety fusion which you should surely give it a try and it's worth it. So this is our variety fusion chili chocolate and this is uh, into this our main ingredient we are adding our red chili and it's a variety good combination I can say you different one rather from, than from a normal ordinary chocolates. This one is out of the world actually I can say you and it tastes really good and surely try it and after trying do let me know your suggestions through comment box like share and subscribe to my channel I'll be coming up with variety videos till then stay tuned to my channel